Okay, so I just received this package today. I think I know what it is, but um, let's open it up and, and see what it is. So there's a clue to what it's going to be. Um, it's from China, so it's pretty obvious what it's going to be. It's going to be a puzzle. Try not to show me a dress on the box. And it is a uh, a three by three shape mod. It's uh, a yellow ingot. So yeah, I decided to get one in yellow. You can you can get them in red and green as well, but I think it looks best in yellow. And um, they actually sell these on Lightake for about three pound fifty, but they they'd sold out of yellow. So I went onto eBay uh, to get one in yellow, but this cost me about seven pound something. So uh, I'll show you the packaging, and it looks like it's by. Um... Oh wait, I got it mixed up with another brand. I got it mixed up with uh, with Ku, but I don't think it's it's that brand. So I've got no idea what any of that says. But basically, in the UK, we have like gold bars. I think a lot of countries have like gold bars, but in China. Um, the gold bars that they have that basically shapes like this and I think they're called ingots. I'm not sure if ingot is just a general term for gold bar or whether ingot is an actual name for this actual shape. I don't know. So there's the back. So uh, yeah let's open this up. So I've decided to start keeping the uh, the packaging for my puzzles so I'm going to be careful with this to, uh, to make sure that I don't Damage the. Uh, I mean, I don't. I obviously don't keep the plastic packaging, but I'm talking about like the card and stuff. So I'm just going to be careful to make sure that I don't damage the card. Okay, so where it is, it's a bit smaller than what I was expecting it to be. But it kind of, whenever I look at this, it kind of reminds me of like an egg in a basket or something. So I think I will scramble this on camera. Um, before I do, I'll compare. I'll compare it to like a normal size three x three, so you can see uh, how small it is or how big it is. Um, Turning is it does feel quite rough and catchy. That feels quite smooth there though. So I'll show you how it compares to a regular sized 3x3. Three three. So yeah, let's uh Let's scramble it, I'll show you what it looks like when it's scrambled. Um, it's hard to know, because I'm not used to this puzzle, it's hard to know where to actually move the sides so you can um, turn it, if you know what I mean. Because obviously if it's, move, if it's moved like that, then you can't turn it this way. You need to have this bit lined up with that bit so then you can turn it. <laughs> and look at that. Sometimes with these um, cheap puzzles from China the caps will fall off. Um, what I usually do is um, I'll never glue them down because if you glue them down then you, you're not really going to be able to get them off if you need to adjust the tension without uh, damaging something. You know you might damage it if you try and force it off. What I'll always do is I've got like um, I've got some rug tape and obviously that's double sided and the adhesive is really strong but it's not strong enough to stop you from pulling the cap off and what I'll do is I'll just uh, cut some really thin strips off the rug tape 
and I'll just put them around these edges. I'll pull the back in off the rug tape and then I'll just fix it back in and it's it's properly stuck down then. But you can still get it off easily if you need to get it off. Now I'm not sure which way around this went, so I could have put it on the wrong way. Um, so that's probably going to make it difficult to solve. Maybe I'll just leave it off so it's less confusing when I'm trying to solve it. It is a bit difficult trying to turn this with my arms stretched out. I'm having to have my arms stretched out so I can so I'm not holding this too close up to the camera because I've noticed when I hold things up to the camera um, they just look really blurry because this camera it doesn't focus at all. Um, but yeah, I, th I guess that's probably scrambled enough so there you can see it's looking pretty crazy. So yeah, so that's basically the uh, the 3x3 ingot. Um, I got it from eBay and it cost me about £7.30. So yeah, thanks for watching.